All right, let's do some mathy math. It says here, below you see cuboid A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. Using the information given below, find the coordinates for all of the points not already given. Okay, we can handle that. And they've given us, given us this lovely diagram to work with. So essentially, we're just looking for the coordinates for all of these points. And let's recognize here that these points, the name of this cuboid, that's just the points on the vertices, right? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. No big deal right there. Okay, so when we look at this, we are ultimately looking for point A, point B, point C, point D, and then, am I running out of space here? Oh boy. E, F, G, let me move down a little bit, there we go, and H, okay, we can handle this. So, first, lucky us, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight points to find. They've already given us two, so we know H is two, that's the X coordinate. We know Y is the, I'm sorry, four is the Y coordinate, and then Z, I'm sorry, 10 is the Z coordinate. And this is the x-axis, the y-axis, and the z-axis. X, y, z. Okay? And b, we also have the x is 7, the y is 9, and the z, moving up and down, is 2. Okay. So I really like to kind of tackle these just bit by bit, step by step. Uh, they can look a little intimidating, but if you, if you kind of lock into the process, I think you'll kind of see that a lot of these connections are, are fairly logical, okay? So first, I want to look at this bottom plane here, A, B, C, D. It's all flat and it's all level, and this tells us it's at two units up. That means it's, it's floating off the floor by about, I'm sorry, by two units. And, and that's a big connection because that lets us know that actually the Z value for all of these must be two because they're all floating on the same Plane. So actually, I'm just going to go ahead and put in the Z value for A, B, C, and D, because they're all floating on the same plane. And, and when we think about this, if this is 2 down here and this is 10 up here, well, then we also know that this whole plane, like the, the roof of the cuboid, is all on level 10. So we know that E, F, G, and H are all at a Z a level of 10, right? And so this side is eight units tall. But by acknowledging this, and we know that these lines are going up vertically, we, we know that, that this point B, it's a, pretty much exactly the same as F, except for the only difference is F is at 10 and B is at two. But that gives us a lot of information. So we actually know that if B is at seven on the X and nine on the Y, F is also at seven on the X and nine on the Y, and the only difference is the Z. So actually we know now that F is gonna be seven, nine, 10. So F is seven, nine, 10. I should have planned that better. I'm right on top of the diagram, but that's okay. So seven, nine, 10. And, and using this logic, let's go to H. We know H is two, four, 10, and it's right above D, well then we know D, the X is the same, that's two, the Y is the same, that's four, and the only thing that's different is the Z because it's down at two. So this D value would be two, four, two. And now we cook it, two, four, two. Okay, so we only have a couple more pieces of information and we got it. Uh, let's come to B. So on B, uh, this line right here, it's saying they went down two on X, and that's where that line came across, down uh, two on the X, right? So looking at this, ooh, down two on the X, what am I talking about? Excuse me, down seven, two is up here. Down seven, so it went one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, it came across and then it goes up two. So this line though, it, it would relate to seven on the X, right? And it doesn't look quite lined up because it's floating above it. But this seven, this is essentially saying the seven line. So if B's X line is on seven, then A's X line is on seven, right? Because it's a line on the same place. So we know that the X value for point A would be seven. And 
if we if we know that that's coming across at 7, then we would know the same story is true up here. So we know E is at 7. And that makes sense following the same pattern because E is directly above A. Okay. Let's kind of keep going around and keep building. Uh, here, okay, we see that the X value of H is at 2. Therefore, the X value of G must be 2. it comes like this. And we're going to use that same logic going this way. This is the Y line, right? And the, we, could, we do tend to get confused on this sometimes because this line looks like it's following the X direction. And it is parallel to X, but it gets counted along the Y. So to get this to this Y value, they went over 1, 2, 3, 4. So that means for E, they went over 1, 2, 3, 4. Now looky for us, E is directly above A. So if E has a Y value of 4, then A has a Y value of 4. And this is the idea. We just go around and build and build and build. So the only thing left now is to fill in 4C. So let's think about what we know about C. C is right here, and it is directly... Oh, we also have to get G. Okay, so C is directly below G. So what that means, everything about C and G are going to be in common except for the Z. So we already have the 2 for G, so that means we have the 2 for C. And so our last bit is to just to find the Y values for C and G, and they will be the same. So coming here, if you look at B, uh, B, this line right here, that was counted 9 on the Y axis. So this night went 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and that's that line. So if B is 9 on Y and it comes up, then C is 9 on Y. And because C is directly below G, that means G is also 9 on the Y. And then you did it. You found all of your points. So the key here is that you're going to get a reference point on one of the, like on the top back, and you're probably going to get a reference point on the front bottom. And if you have those, then you can find all of the points anywhere just by essentially finding relationships and, and knowing how they all line up. And that should do it. As always, subscribe below if you want to be notified when I make more practice questions. And if you have any comments or anything I did was too confusing, just uh, leave a comment below and I'll do my best to answer any questions you have. Thank you. Bye.